welcome to a kind of special video. This video is going to be about your questions and my answers to them. Because many people asked me many different kinds of questions and I just decided to answer the most common questions among these ones. Um, of course you can post a comment down below, ask something in the comments and if I decide to make another video of this kind then I will go through these comments and pick a few questions out of those. Well, the first bunch of questions are the obvious ones. So, how old are you? Where do you come from to have such a weird accent? And are you working or are you going to school or stuff like that? So, basically, I'm 22 years old. I live in Berlin, Germany, which is the place where I was born. And I'm talking in this kind of accent because I can't do it any better. <laughs> um, but my, my English teachers mostly were like talking a British accent and during the, the course of time, you know, by watching American movies and having a lot to do with American guys, it was basically that I was influenced by, by those. So that it's kind of a mixture between the most common accents. And concerning the school or work subject, I graduated three years ago and today I'm working as an industrial business management assistant in an international company in Germany. Perhaps one of the most frequently asked questions is why are you building on default textures? Why aren't you using a texture pack? Well, first of all, I know a few good texture packs like John Smith's Ovo and Ozo's texture pack, Doku and Doku Craft and all those kind of things. But the first reason is actually that I simply adore the default textures because it's so pixely, you know? I grew up with all the games being extremely pixely, starting with the Game Boy and then the PlayStation 1. And that was my childhood, so basically I like it a lot because it's so pixely. And Minecraft, it's it's such a blocky game, obviously. I think it's just, it kind of destroys the game w when there is too much detail in it. So basically, I don't like texture packs, which are have a bigger resolution than like 64 times 64. The second and most important reason is actually that if you are building with a texture pack, everything will depend on the other one who is looking at your buildings having the same texture pack. So if you are building on a server and there is somebody coming up and you have this texture pack, for example, where you have the pink wool, um, where the pink wool has the looks of, for example, hay. So somebody comes on your server and you use the hay as a roof material. Well, this somebody has another texture pack and he will look at your build and will think, hey, that's quite the cool house, but what's up with the pink roof? And I think, especially if you are doing tutorials, it's better to have the default texture pack as a basic and then everybody will have uh, or will be able to build it in their own texture packs and that way it will look good in almost every texture pack. And another reason is that I actually think it's far more complicated or more difficult to build cool things uh, when you are using the default texture packs. Because there are some texture packs out there, if you are using them, it's just like face rolling your head on the keyboard and basically it will look good in the end. So that's kind of a teacher giving A's to all the students in his class. Well, kind of a bad example, of course you would be thrilled to have that A, but well, in, inside the class, everybody in the class would know that this A means nothing because everybody got it. And, um, bad example. Another example, um, an engineer. It's more difficult for an engineer to build stuff when he has n almost nothing there and he has like to build himself some mechanisms and stuff rather than if he has them from the beginning right on. Like he has the cables and he has the switches, whatever an engineer needs, I don't know. But I hope you get the point of this example. Well, the last question I want to answer in this session is how and where should I start to build a medieval city? Well, first of all, I'm no history expert, but I know the following. Medieval cities were mostly founded, at least in Central Europe, at crossing trade routes and there had to be water around, so at a river or at the sea. 
So what you should do is to find a place where, in the best case, there is an ocean right next to it, so that you are on the, on the coast, and a river comes out of the land and flows into the sea. And then what you should do is to start building a harbor or a market square, and then expand from that. And another thing is that usually in the vicinity of the cities there was a castle so that the inhabitants of or the citizens of the city could always run for their lives into the castle to protect themselves in, in the case of an attack. So as I said, first of all, find yourself a good spot to build the city, build, start with building a harbor, then build a market square, build some streets, build a castle, and then you throw in all the other buildings like blacksmiths and bakeries and if the city is big enough a barracks and stuff like that. Well so that's pretty much it for this session so as I said in the beginning you can post questions down below in the comments if I decide to make another video if I get enough likes so if you enjoyed this or if you found this helpful then leave a like and yeah if I do another video like this one again I will go through the comments mainly of this video and take a few questions out of those. So yeah, as always, please rate, comment, subscribe, do as you will, and I hopefully will see you next time. Bye bye.